Hey, this is Chip Dizard with Web Video Chefs. I want to show you a quick tutorial of how to make a survey. A lot of people use um, SurveyMonkey, which is good. Um, they have a free version, then they have a, a basic version, and I encourage you for more advanced surveys to use them or Zoomerang. But for basic surveys that you need, um, I use Google Docs. If you don't have a Google account, you can just go to google.com, hit sign in, and then you can uh, get your Google account, Google account here for free. So I would encourage everybody to get one, just because it's just the way of the world now. All righty, all right. So we're gonna sign in as Web Video Chefs here. Put my password in here, and now um, I'm just going to have I'm signed in now. Now I'm gonna hit the more button. Then I'm gonna go under documents. And once I click under documents, it's gonna show me all my Google Docs. So right now, this is a new account here. I don't have any docs in here. So I, I don't have anything in here. So first thing I'm gonna do is go to create, create new, and then I'm gonna click on form. Form is same thing as a survey. So let's call this uh, web video chefs survey. Then you can form this out in test information here. Sample question. So let's just ask a sample question and we can have multiple choice, check boxes, anything like that. Um, let's go multiple choice. How often do you visit tutorial websites? Please fill in. This is the help text that hovers over it. So once a week, once a month, never. And now I'm gonna make this a required question. Or add other, see how you can add other here? Other, add your own if I want them to add their own answer. Then I'm just gonna X this out right here and then go from there, all right? Now, question two, and I'm gonna scroll over to here Hit edit. This is my duplicate if I want or if I want to trash that question. So I'm going to make one more question here and I'm going to make this type of question. Uh, let's make this a paragraph text. Um, what questions do you have about web video? And then paragraph text, their long answer. Okay, you put it right there, paragraph text. You can put the help text and the required again. If I want to duplicate this, I can do the same. Um, there are many more things. I can go on to add a new item, scale a grid. I can put a page break here if I wanted to, you know, section two. Okay, and put my description. So really the sky's the limit with these Google Forms. I'm not gonna go through every everything. You have a scale here, a scale of one to five, rate us if you wanna rate something on a scale of one to five, any of your labels. And then you have a grid as well. Um, if I have a grid question, you can look at all this stuff with the labels and the rows. So you really want to take a good look at Google Forms and uh, to do a Google survey. Let's continue to the next page. So I'm just going to save this right now. And I'm going to save this. And once I save it, I can also uh, change my theme right here if I wanted to change a theme. I'm just going to go back to my editing, leave it the plain theme. And then to put this in your website, really easy. You're just going to go here, embed. And you can click and copy and paste that stuff right there, that code. And then one more thing is that you can edit a confirmation. And then you can publish a response surveys if you want to see people public. Thanks for your input your response has been recorded sincerely chip desired and amani channel and then we put web video chefs if i can spell it'd be dangerous okay here we go and that's all basically that's the, for the response that people get when they get it you can make it required that somebody put the email address and name on there but like i said the sky's the limit with these forms use it it'll help you out a lot and save you a lot of time whenever you're trying to collect data